What do you want to see out of today's hip hop that you haven't seen in a while or that you haven't seen at all? I feel like it's, it's, it's getting a little bit better, but I feel like I want the music to lighten up a little bit, not be so dark, especially like with hip hop trap music. Mm -hmm. It's a little dark. It's kind of like more of like, you can't really party to it. Death music? Yeah, you, you can't really you can't really party to it. You know what I'm saying? It's more of like oh. kind of like uh is is like death. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very it's very dark. It's not bright, it's not like think about it. I'm not even go back to the nineties. Think about early two thousands. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Especially if you're talking about the South. Mm -hmm. The music was just more live, it's popping, yeah. like yo, we yeah. have a good time. Yeah, we're gonna go party. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The beats was crazy. The bass sounds was hard. We had 808s. We had all of that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Even, you know, New York style was different. We had Dipset. We had G-Unit. You know, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. a little before that, we had Ja Rule. Like, the music was still a vibe yeah. to listen to. You know, where you could, like, New York, we bop. Yeah. We, don't really, we don't really do all of that. Running Man and all that back in the days. But, like, early right. 2000s vibe, we, we bop. bop and we have yeah. a good time, right? Yeah. But the music wasn't so dark and deadly. I feel like today it's kind of dark, right? It's getting a little bit better. I think mm -hmm. like a year or two ago was even worse. It's getting a little bit better, I guess, because of like twerking and all that, sexy red and all that, girls is moving their bodies and stuff. But I would like the music to be much more lively, party vibe. Like mm -hmm. you can't really, you can't really party to hip hop. Yeah, you're, yeah. It's like standing around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's standing right back looking. Nobody want to loosen up and have a good time. That's mm -hmm. why that's why Afro beats and all those parties and those types of vibe be having people moving, you know, yeah. because it's like it's feel good music. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, we 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 are uh, I, I agree with you. We're in the we're in the midst and the throes. I don't know if it's going to end anytime soon, but we're definitely in the midst of death in stripper culture music right now mm -hmm. and, and we like we in there and then it's like it's like the matrix where they loading up with more of right. the same type of artists um and, and 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 not to say there's not a place for it but it shouldn't be all of the music if that makes right. sense. it shouldn't you know? be every it shouldn't be mainstream it shouldn't be that's everything everything right. don't need to be that one way right have different avenues of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it all don't need to be one. I know this sounds very old, but I remember there was a time where Tupac, Biggie, Heavy D, and I'm listening to these artists on purpose. Heavy D, Big D, I, I was going to say Big Daddy Kane. He was already kind of like, I don't want to say Fade now, but I'll say Mace Locks, um, I already and, know where you're going with it. And I would say, um, Q Tip all existed in the same, and Busta Rhymes all existed in the same era. You could listen to the radio and you would hear their songs, and, and they're all different, but mm -hmm. you got a different thing, and it, and we was. We was partying to it. We was boogieing to it. But they all existed in the same universe. Right. We don't have that now. Right. And I and I think there's artists out there that have the good vibe. Like me personally, if y'all listen, the people that listen to my music, mm -hmm. I don't rap about death. I really celebrate life culture. That's my thing, life culture. Mm -hmm. Um. And so when most people say, yo, who's your comp? Like, who, who's like, you know, somebody to compare to? I don't really believe I have somebody that's comparable to me in today's music because mm -hmm. I'm very versatile. But the point I'm making is that there, there is an agenda on death and strip of music, strip culture mm -hmm. music. So that and and you have artists that do bring that balance, but they don't get the like the pub. Like I'm a big fan of uh, JID. He doesn't mm -hmm. to me get the same type of plays as other artists. And some of the other artists, again, I'm not trying to diss nobody. They ain't even on his level. They not on his level.
So and that's by design. Right. It's by design. I know exactly what you're talking about. Because like I love music, bro. Do I listen to music in the house with my kids? No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't really listen to it like that. Mm-hmm. Because I already know like the majority, especially like on the radio, like if I'm driving in the car with the kids, like I'll probably put something on that I played or you know, or some R and B or something. And even with R and B, you gotta be careful with that too, right? Because it's so over sexually hyped music, mm-hmm. you know, in R and B is so direct. Mm-hmm. It's not even subliminal no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. even when we listen to like some R. Kelly stuff, like right, yeah. We all love R. Kelly, bro. I ain't gonna mm-hmm. lie, I just did a private party a week ago, 60th birthday party. Mm-hmm. They was like, yo, it's from my it's from my, my dad or my uncle. And they was like, yo, his favorite artist is R. Kelly. Make sure yeah. you play R. Kelly, R. Yeah. Kelly and Prince. And I'm like, I'm playing the music and I'm like, yo, this nigga R. Kelly is the man. Like, yo, <laughs> this shit is crazy. Yeah. And what yeah. he talking about, and what he talking about is like. He talking about making love to women and all that, you know, mm-hmm. but it's just so subtle the way he's saying certain yeah. things. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's not it's not like he's just, oh, I'm gonna rip your panties off. Yeah. In the yeah. RB today, it's like they they too direct, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's no type of caressing going on. Yeah. You know, so and it's the same thing with hip hop, right? They like, yeah, we always had vulgar lyrics in hip hop. I'm going to put it in your mouth, you know, like, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. But those weren't the norm. That wasn't right. being played on the radio to the masses all the time. That was played in the club. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You listen to the radio. And, and the problem with that, like what you were saying, is like with the J.I.D. stuff, is like, the like, J.I.D. is different. Mm-hmm. You know, the whole Dreamville camp is different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe. You listen to like trap music, no disrespect to any of these artists or anything, but if someone was to walk in a club who don't really know these artists by name, they wouldn't be able to decipher who's what's who's what. Right. Yes. Because it all sounds the same. Yes. You could pretty much mix anything with anything. Mm-hmm. You couldn't mix like Dipset sound different from G Unit. Yes. G Unit sound different from DMX. Yes. Jay Z sound different from DMX. Yes. Mob Deep sound different from them. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. Even T.I. sounded different from Jeezy. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even if you take... Ludacris sounds different from all three of them. Yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though they from the same region, mm-hmm. the music was just different. You know, mm-hmm. everybody was okay, or the labels was okay with everybody coming being themselves. Today, mm-hmm. it ain't like that. You mm-hmm. need to sound like this or we not... Your, your, your song ain't playing. Yeah. So now I'm going to go to this producer. I need that shit that you gave the baby. Yeah, because yeah. the baby got this beat, and little baby got another shit that sound like that. Money bag, yo. Now D Lo, the man, he got something sexy. I I need to fit yeah. in that bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, See, and, and then again, I, my bad, guy. My bad. No, I was saying that's where we at. 